they'll be a little more attentive to the chat. I got a different setup going, so. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe it was. catch my attention. Hello, hello. Oh, there's only, the there's only two people. Oh, wait. There, I, oh, I forgot to count myself. Doi. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't posted the uh, announcement yeah, video. Well, why not? You, should, you need to post that now. Yeah, I've, I've got it. It's uploaded. It's ready to go. I just need to set it on public, which I'm doing now. All right, so right now everyone in the chat is talking about alcohol and ducktails being an awesome combination. Indeed, indeed. Alcohol um, and I'll, I'll almost everything is an awesome combination. Almost. Look at that duck right there. <laughs> I need to make sure, uh, chat room, can you hear everybody besides me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you they, hear me now? If they can hear one of you, they can probably hear all of you. That'd be I'd be really confused if they couldn't. Into trash. <laughs> yeah, we got a yes from everyone so far. All right, good stuff. Okay. Perfect. Okay, introduce yourselves, everybody. Uh, this this is this is Josh Kovar, Ben and Ben and Ben and Ben and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have seven people this time. That's not happening. There's only three of us this time. <laughs> Hang on, I needed to respond to a Skype chat. All right, and this is Ben Woodring from Radio Box. I host the All About the Bits video game music and history show. My name is Ben Albright. Uh, Blaze Heatnik's Definitive Dubs is my YouTube username. I do fan dubs and stuff. Right now I'm doing a full fan dub of Mega Man Zero if you want to check that out. My name is Andrew Kovarubias, a.k.a. Kovar, and I do nothing of any interest except helping <laughs> with the FF7 retranslation, but I don't think most people care about that here. This is Sonic, not Final Fantasy. <laughs> and Kovar is also a mod, so behave yourselves. Or he'll come after yes. you. Yeah, no. he's, he's Josh's watchdog. <laughs> yeah, someone just left a comment on the uh, chat. Not enough sexy accents today. <laughs> uh, he Not said today. sexy Finnish accents. Because as it happens, VK Mize is Finnish. Mon showy. We shall make beautiful music oh, okay. together. And uh, I am Josh Wallen, and I run a YouTube channel that people watch sometimes, I think. Yeah, you're kind of a big deal. Eh, a little bit. Kind of. <laughs> Literally a little bit. That's not me being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, you're getting nothing. I think I saw one of your videos just hit 10,000 views. Uh, yeah, yeah. The I think I all three of the Smash Brothers, like 64, Melee, and Brawl are all over 10,000 now. Nice. Or, yeah. And then the uh, the one about <laughs> the one about the uh, Roy and Ryu leaks that got copyright stricken by Nintendo. Uh, actually broke 100,000 views. Did you get ba that back up, or at least the strike removed from your account? <laughs> Somebody's like, the hell is a Josh Wall in it? Uh, yeah, I think, like, I did dispute it, and I got something that said, like, if Nintendo doesn't respond in any way, then the strike will be removed, the video will be restored in 10 to 14 days, and that was about 10 yeah. days ago. I'm not expecting have, Nintendo uh... to, to do anything about it. I think they were just going through with a very like, a very large ban hammer and and getting rid of anything that even looked like it might be a leak. Yeah, they have uh, 14 days to respond, and usually companies don't respond unless it's legitimate uh, copyright infringement. Make sure I switch this to public so we should be getting people in here. Live event: The Sonic Adventure Modern Era. Josh, what do you count? Do you count Shadow the Hedgehog as part of the, the? Uh, wait, yeah, I guess you do. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, I asked you this earlier, a long time ago. Do you count Shadow the Hedgehog as part of the Adventure Era? <sighs> yeah, you did ask me this, and I, I, I can't remember quite how I responded at the time. Um. I guess I would sort... Yeah, I, I think I would sort of count everything from Sonic Adventure to Sonic 06 as all being sort of the same thing. It was the time when the series was focusing on sort of that style of 3D platforming. But like according to Sonic Generation, Sonic 06 is modern era. 
<laughs> we should be dividing eras by voice actor. So uh, Shadow the Hedgehog would be like an in-between era. Oh, there's a lot of ways to do it. <laughs> yeah, you got Ryan Drummond, then you got Jason Griffith, then you got Roger Craig Smith. Three modern eras. Well, it's not like the voice acting changing was really Sega's decision. It was just because their contract ran out. And uh, this is, I, I gotta admit, like, th today, especially early on, is gonna be a little bit weird for me. Because I don't want to say too much about the games that I'm going to be making videos on, like, really, 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 really soon. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll talk about them a little bit, <laughs> and I'll answer some questions on them, but I don't want to go too in-depth into, like, I see Retro 64Z was like, do you like Sonic Adventure 1 or Sonic Adventure 2 better? And that's something that I'm sort of going to be trying to figure out and answer in, like, like the full Geek Critique videos in the, in the uh, coming months. Sue Mid says in Skype, Also, hi, Blaze Heatnix gets my seal of approval as Mega Man Zero is the Clackers. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> the Clackers. What, Shay, what does the Clackers mean? I assume he's in here, too. <laughs> Probably some Scotland term. <laughs> uh, I do not <laughs> see him in the uh, Twitch user list. Oh, well, well. I'm, I'm talking about the Skype, the Skype uh, chat. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll just tell everybody who doesn't know. <laughs> and we're live. All right, I better get started, huh? <laughs> we're sitting here yeah. on, on a blitz screen. Well, now's the right Welcome time. Yeah. Just Critique. now got the email saying you were live. Oh, good. <laughs> I say Greek critique. Greek critique. <laughs> Uh, Two Face says, "Wait, he's playing Shadow. God bless your soul." I don't think he actually said he was playing Shadow. Uh, no, Only I'm, Sonic yeah. I, I'm playing. As, no, sorry about you don't play as Sonic in Shadow, so I wouldn't play Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can technically play as Sonic if you play if you grab the second controller in Sonic missions. Can you really? Or if you want the game on the Xbox version, at least. I know that's really specific, but technically, you can play as Sonic. Yep. Chase says clackers mm -hmm. equals bollocks. Oh, okay, that clears up. Oh, that makes sense. That tells me that Mega Man Zero is bad. <laughs> no, the clackers. It's like how something is the shit, it's good, versus just being shit, it's bad. The bollocks, okay. I, I guess I can see that. Select a stage. Weird Scottish people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love Scotland. Uh, VM2 Phase wants to know if I will be playing Sonic 06. Yeah, I am playing Sonic 06. Also, this is not running quite as quite as well as it should be. I don't, but I say I say that every time I look at Sonic Adventure, so maybe it is. <laughs> if it looks okay to you guys. Uh, All right, no, here it is. Fifteen Actually. frames a second. What's that? We're seeing it at like fifteen frames a second. Yeah. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> How good is your computer, Josh? It's pretty freaking great. But let me try closing some processes. And synchronized for me, and it's uh, emulated, not a real Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah, it's it's emulated. Uh, what can I close? I can close that. Probably have too much going on. We're playing Emerald Coast. Uh, it's Kino wants to know if we have colors in Lost World today. today. Yeah, the plan is hopefully to get done with everything else today. Yeah, since every... I think Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 expect you to play through every story, but Josh is just going to play through Sonic's story. Yeah, well... And maybe Super Sonic? Um, I, Well, okay, it depends. And I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second. Let me finish doing this real quick. Closing down all my stuff. And I'm assuming he's not playing Sonic Heroes because you have to play as other characters besides right. Sonic. That is my excuse for not playing Sonic Heroes, yes. It's a Sonic smorgasbord. But it really is just an excuse. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not denying anything on that one. Uh, so there's a little bit of a discussion in the chat going on right now about the Steam version. Uh, somebody mentioned here yesterday, I think it, I think it might have been you, Ben. Or <laughs> one of the two Bens. Yeah. <laughs> I actually linked him on Skype. There is a Steam mod called Better SADX, which 
patches the Steam port into an enhanced copy of the original 2004 port, and it got taken down by Sega, but he's, the author says he's going to uh, re-upload it at, in a different format to better suit them. So uh, look out for that. But since it's not available, Josh Well, even beyond it, that, I so. got the Steam so port when it originally came out, and it was just awful. They for like so last year for for whatever reason they updated it into a uh, like after years of it being out they updated it and it is actually a lot better now than than I remember it being as far as options and everything like that go. Uh, by the way, the bonus goal. Speaking of which, is if we get at least twenty dollars during Sonic Adventure, I'll also play the DX version, and uh, that will include the story mode because since I since like I said I just re-downloaded the Steam version. Like, I'll have to play through Sonic's story if I do that. So, that's the bonus goal here. <laughs> okay. I'm oh, gonna already use the old uh, Skype chat since Josh is not using that anymore. You're uh, leaving it? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I, it, it's kind of annoying because I still see, <laughs> like, every time somebody makes gives, sends a message in there. It's popping up in the corner of the screen. Yeah. This does seem mm. to be running better for me, although I'm glancing over at the stream and it's not running very well for you guys for some reason. It's incredibly stuttery. Yeah, and I'm also not hearing much of the sound. Hang on a second. For one thing, I can stop streaming it myself. Uh, let me see what it looks like just in my exploit window. In my exploit window, it looks fine. It's only in, um, like, in the actual stream that it's that it's being all jittery like that. Did you have this problem last year? Um... You didn't have this problem the other day. No, I didn't. Is your internet consistent, or does it... Is it possible that could be having a little issue right now? Yeah, it's possible. It looks actually, a lot better actually, now. It's, actually, it looks a lot better now. Try running. Actually, I'm not sure, because it only looks like the... Gameplay is lagging and not the uh, the scrolling text. That's a very strange problem to have. I have an idea for something I could try if it's still doing it though. It looks better for me. Wait, no. Oh yeah, it's something. Yeah, this is good. Capture. Okay, I guess it just needed some time to boot up because it looks okay. better now, but the sound is still missing. The sound's missing completely. Let me see. I, I can only hear it through your okay. microphone. I can't hear it. Uh, that. Well, actually, hang on. Covert. Okay, no. No, the sound. The, okay, the sound is not missing. The sound is not missing. I, I messed okay. up. That was my fault. <laughs> yeah, you just can't hear it on <laughs> Skype. <laughs> yeah, I'm. 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 Stupid. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry. It's. <laughs> I I woke up like two hours ago, and I still <laughs> have an appearance. Ah, oh, hey, when that happens. It's. So freeze framing. That's why I had two cups of coffee before the stream. Somebody said it's still freeze framing. A little bit. It's it's pretty watchable. It's yes. Yeah, it's, it's much more watchable. Okay, let now me try than something was. real quick. Instead of using auto detect, I'm gonna point it to the actual uh, the actual window, and we'll see if that we'll see if that's better. And it should get there for you guys soon. Jump on panel Sorry, panel chat panel. people. <laughs> I <laughs> I screwed up. I there is no <laughs> sound issue. <laughs> it's all my fault. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, this this all is right, a good. lot smoother. <laughs> yeah. I glanced it, over it, the chat, and that's it. why I fell off back there. But hey, thirteen dead hedgehogs now. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Oh, that's because you restarted? <laughs> yeah. Counting from yesterday, uh, I died a total of 12 times yesterday, and I just now died for the first time today. 12 times, and like, yep. eight of them were in Sonic 4. Yep. I died like four times in a row in uh, Oil Desert Zone. Jump as soon as you land on a panel, or else you'll fall. I really wish we never played that game. <sighs> It takes so way too Josh. long, especially episode two. Yeah. Well, it's it's those dang uh, partner things. It's not an awful mechanic, but you have to watch the animation every yeah. single time. Yeah, it makes the game way too slow. I 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe next flow. year, I'll I'll use the Sonic Heroes excuse on uh, episode two and say that I, I'm not going to play it because you have to play as Tails as part of that. Yeah. It involves Tails. <laughs> Screw you, Tails. Select a stage. You can say it doesn't count anyway. It was made by Dimps, not Sonic Team. That's true. They shame the dog. Why not, why not go even further and just say stuff like, "Oh, I won't play episode one because uh, that's not real Sonic. That's a well, clone." Well, Sonic to me, Sonic to me has black Ish. eyes, so I'm only gonna play Sonic if he has black eyes. Perfect. <laughs> so now the stream will be over. Right there. <laughs> except for the except for generations, I can still play that. Can't play the whole like thing. Half, but... Uh, speaking of, not really, because you you have to play as both classic and modern to unlock the next stage. Uh, Heil from DK Vine is here, and he says, "Wait, is this not a Sonic?" What the fuck is a Sonic? <laughs> VK Mize says he doesn't like Sonic, so well, I don't like, even know he, what he's doing here. He's here to complete the Sonic Tales, obviously. By the way, the the, the emulator does complete oh, the of tornado. That is one orangey tornado. Yeah, this tornado is brought to you by Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for Nickelodeon, it also part? needs like <laughs> slime <laughs> everywhere. Some random purple and green stuff. You know, I think. I think as far as the aesthetic and style of the classic series, Sonic Adventure 1 at least tried to bring it into 3D. Sonic Adventure 2 was where oh, they no. started... <laughs> 14 dead hedgehogs. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. Go on. Oh, I can't wait it's to see It's a glitch. It's another glitch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, I think Sonic Adventure 2 was when they started uh, making things more realistic and western and stuff. <laughs> Well, in some ways, I mean, Heroes took a step back to the surreal, and it had like the checkered grounds and everything. Yeah. Visually, I thought Heroes was gorgeous. I thought it did a lot right. It just the gameplay wasn't there. Sixteen. Well, I like the visuals of Heroes except for the character models. They look like they're made of rubber, which is really weird. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is I, going yeah, on? No. Okay, there? 17. Okay, Josh, <laughs> stop, stop okay, rolling good idea. this time. Just run. <laughs> I'm going to get a game over if I'm not careful. Okay, I'm not going to oh. roll. No rolling. <laughs> <laughs> it still happened. <laughs> no. And keep in mind, the rest of... Quality uh, Sonic uh, Team development. One attempt to find you, so... Every time you fail... We know that the next one they see is gonna be a fail, also. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I'm going to hope that doesn't happen again. If it does, I don't know. Maybe I'll try bypassing the loop entirely. I like I like this this. Guy okay, Pokeball just says, "Mind if I jump in on the call, or are you too full?" We are too so. full right now. Well, I feel like we Well, could, that's what you said. What I said was that, like, if we have, like, including me, we shouldn't have more than five people, and we have four right now. So, like, five people is, like, four people is good, five people might be too much, but I'd be willing to try it. Six or seven. Six or seven was very much a problem, yes. Let's well, get Jump on panel number one. All right. Try 12 today. What could go wrong? Also, Kovar, I saw the straw poll you set Alrighty. up before we started. And I, I, I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to play Sonic 4 again. <laughs> I, I'm not abiding by that poll. <laughs> um, BM2Face just posted a poll. Will Josh get a game over via glitches? The choices are yes, no, and Sonic <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> this is gonna become like a running thing for these streams, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> like we, I, I really so. need to find out: is there like a Dreamcast emulator that does net play that we could that we might be able to actually play Sonic Shuffle on? 
don't, I don't think there is, but... But then again, I, I don't know if most of us have the That's machine true. able to run it. That, that would also be a problem. So you said you uh, didn't yeah, have room for one more? Okay. Uh, Pokemologist uh, yeah. it is then, right? Although, uh, although yeah, whenever right Alien Run shows up, uh, he, he was waiting all day. <laughs> uh, yesterday. Yeah. Pokemologist. He almost, he almost yeah. beat me out. <laughs> Come on, Sonic, yeah. make that loop, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what was happening before. I'm going to add as soon as I remember which was these or my uh, he's, He has are. the Pokeball like symbol. Oh. Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> Hello! Yo. Howdy guys. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see good you too. And, and by the way, no, I'm really not reading the chat. <laughs> That, that, that's what I have, <laughs> like, four other people here to do. <laughs> oh, okay, hey. we got another straw poll. Will Josh get another game over version 2.0? The choices oh, hey, are DuckTales, DuckTales, <laughs> DuckTales. Duck Hang on, VK Mize is here. Did we show him DuckTales with real ducks? <laughs> He's probably seen it, but we'll do that after Sonic Adventure. So let's get him! <laughs> Alright. I like that best poll so far. Select a stage. Everybody's favorite stage, Cassinopolis. <laughs> Should make oh, a, yeah. Should make a poll that just says Sonic Shuffle, DuckTales, <laughs> Sonic 06. Oh, God. What is the worst Sonic game, do you guys Sonic think? Jam Game Club. Sonic Boom. No doubt about it. Sonic 3 well, and Knuckles. That, that barely counts, but yeah, I guess objectively, that yeah. would be the worst Sonic game. <laughs> do Sonic fan game. games count? I don't think fan games count, but sure, you, you can... If, if fan games count, we'll there be There was one called Sonic Mega Quest. <laughs> Heard of no, Sonic no, no, no. Sonic Mega Mix is fantastic. That one's pretty good. Sonic Mega Quest. Yeah. I wish they'd finish it. working on it. We, we... Have you ever uh, played Sonic Robo uh, Blast 2? Yes. yes. Josh. That's like you, the oldest Do you know one. what happens if you collect all five idiot in the Knight's Pinball stage? I've never been able to do it. Um, well, I know. You probably just get a scene that says, good job. I know, like. Maybe like two years ago, I've you know I've been playing this game since it came out. Two years ago, I found out that there's like a second scene where Sonic flies around. Um, oh gosh, like the tower from the from the last level of Knights. Oh yeah, you can get that normally. You just got to be on the second uh, field. Yeah, but like I, I had only ever seen the one where he fly, where he flies around the first <laughs> level of Knights. I, I had never gotten <laughs> for whatever reason. I just happened to never find the other one. I think all you have to do is hit the ball up to the very left <laughs> on the second play field. Yeah, I managed B that. But I'm BK a Mize says that Sonic the Not-A-Duck is the worst Sonic game. And Shane the Dog says Sonic Tax Simulator 2005 <laughs> is a terrible game. Hey, that, that helped me back then. <laughs> Maybe that, that. Did that one only come out in Scotland? That helped the economy. <laughs> uh, right, you know what, just what about I, Somari? I just noticed that you didn't even cover Sonic Jam on the Gamecom for your yeah, last Yeah, I did. I talked about it in the, uh, in, I think it's in the wrap-up part did? two. The Gamecom oh, was such a terrible I must have missed that. Yeah, the, okay. I'm there's a sure port there's of Duke Nukem 3D on the Gamecom, but you can well, you only know, move forward and back. You can't turn left and right. It had some things going for it, but it just it fell flat on its face. Yeah, you were able to turn it off. <laughs> well, I mean, when you really think about it, I mean, it had it was able to connect to the internet, which was really a rare thing back then. Yeah, and it had like... built-in games. So, well, it had solitaire. I mean, it was revolutionary. I, I, I mean, I, I, guess had, it, I had a game common. and they, even in '97, it wasn't. It they, wasn't. They great. tried to market it as like a. They tried to what market it as like there. a mixture of a Palm Pilot and a portable game console. Well, it didn't it did do not either of those very things well. very well. That was the problem. At least what, what, it wasn't the end good gauge. Ideas. Good ideas, yeah. bad engineering. Yeah. It's time for I, I another guess, good I idea, bad idea. Really yeah. Something. See the see the big uh, trail of uh, hoops over on the left there? If you can get it right through there, you'll go Apparently past the Apparently I'm just not a very scene. good pinball player. The way I usually beat this level is purposely losing all, like, going into a pinball machine, losing three times, and then just playing through the sewers. Yeah. That's actually I, a pretty good way to do it. In fact, it. I think that's what I'm going to do here. Well, you can't now. You got a hundred ranks. Oh yeah, <laughs> I completely forgot that that it does that. I've got five pinball machines in my basement. 
I got six. Really? Yeah, yeah I did. What do you have? have some money. I've got a Medieval Madness, Lord of the Rings, um, Star Trek, the new one, ACDC, and... There's Crap. an ACDC pinball machine. If yeah, I ever want to do a awesome. unique episode on it, what's, pinball what's machines, I'm coming one? over to your house. <laughs> uh, I had a... Most of my machines are newer. I had one based on Monopoly, but that was it. Yeah, there was one of my last uh, machines. Shay... <clears throat> Let's see, I saw... Some... Yeah, Shay says that Palm Pilot sounds like a wanking machine. It was actually oh, a real thing. Oh, they, they were, were kind of popular back in the day. Ready for liftoff. Oh, God. Classic Sonic asks, who's seen the N-Gage version that of That guy loves Puyo, Puyo Pop. Pop more than anyone else I know, by the way. <laughs> and I, I'm not saying it's bad. It's a great game. I have avoided... I've avoided seeing the N-Gage version of anything. I know Sonic N, and I know there was, like, a Tomb Raider game for it. Wasn't Sonic N yeah, just a part of Sonic Advance? Yeah, it was a bad one. Well, anything you try to run on a taco isn't going to work very well. The same well. guy who loves, like, if you saw my uh, Sonic Pocket Adventure episode, um, the guy who owns that, oh, the guy who owns that Neo Geo Pocket Color collection, um, also like, was was a big engage enthusiast back in the day. I don't know. He's he's just like really into like <laughs> obscure gaming hardware. It seems like. I, I remember him back in the day being like, "No, man, the engage isn't that bad." It's probably better than the Game Boy Advance in some ways. So is he like a gigantic supporter <laughs> yeah, of failed so. hardware? Oh yeah, we must yeah, love the like a Philips What's CDI that? fan maybe. I I I, I passed out the fan? chance to buy a Philips CDI for twenty bucks, <laughs> and I don't regret it. I don't blame you. Oh man, but it's got like yeah, three of the best Zelda games. <laughs> in fact, it's one of the only systems that's ever been made with three <laughs> Zelda games. You can get like if you count. Virtual console releases, the 3DS has like 20. Well, counting okay, virtual console how, releases isn't really fair. I would count that. BK Mai says he hates Sonic. He, what are you doing in this hoping... stream? Here's the thing, BK Mai. We're, we're a long way away from DuckTales right now. If I play some, a little bit of DuckTales Remastered, it's not going to be until I have to switch to the Wii. And that's, you know... <laughs> So, so if you can hold out that or long... Or if you want to donate $100, <laughs> do it right now. Well, thank you for offering that option, but yes, that's fine. <laughs> well, Pokemonologist, you have the money to do it. Why don't you <laughs> donate $100? <laughs> I think I've given Josh enough of my money. There, no. I, don't, I, I protest this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bright Spark and BM2 Face are both pointing out the 3DS has four Zelda games. It has Ocarina, which, Majora... Two of them are remakes. It has Link Between Worlds. What am I, what am I missing? Try Four Heroes on its way. Oh yeah, Link Between Worlds, uh, Hyrule Warriors 3DS, and Try Four yep. Heroes are on the way. Tales so that was so nice. creepy when you do this. Shit. Oh yeah, the ladder. I'm gonna get you. Oh, of course. Oh, you're in the shower scene. <laughs> VK yes, Mize is saying that, you, that he did not say that he hated Sonic and that you're putting words in his mouth. Hey, no, I, I, I was, I was, I was We're really reading off the chat. He did he say says, he didn't like Sonic. In exact quote earlier, I think I finally realized. He said realized all y'all be enthusiastic about Sonic while I'm extremely mad about it. He doesn't, he doesn't really hate Sonic. Okay, I, okay. I was just being facetious. <laughs> I see. Oh, you either love Sonic or you hate Sonic. There's really no in between. <clears throat> it's really true. Uh, it is one of those love or hate. Jay wants to know what I think of the fact that the Wii U sold six million units in the same frame of time it took the Dreamcast to sell ten million units and go bust. It's a good thing Nintendo has a massive war chest to fall back on. Let's get yeah, yeah, they're, they're have, not going to go under anything soon. They What's could especially have failure after failure like the Wii U for a couple of decades yeah, and much. still survive. Yeah, because that, that leap, was a huge that cash cow. The, it's a good, the it's a, thing it's that's a good really thing. sad. Oh, Josh, so you're playing yeah. the uh, Dreamcast version, yeah? Um, if you play the DX version, what console I'll, are you going to play that on? I'll probably Game just have to run PC. the Steam version. I highly recommend you do, because it looks so good. I mean, because if you ask me, the Dreamcast version has its own charm, but everybody <laughs> looks like Muppets. Think about know. it. The, the, the textures are all flat, and they look kind of like cloth almost. It has better lighting, ones. though. I will agree to that. Just uh, yeah. like half the level. It is really possible to do that in, the, in Ice Cap. It, it's 
pretty easy. I don't know, Ice Cap is one of my favorite levels in this game. I mean, I get why it's easy to do. It, it looks pretty easy, but it's not something <laughs> I would have thought of. Commenting on the Wii U, yeah, I, was back I to that think too. Uh, it was. It, what's really sad about this generation is that I think the Wii U is a better console than the other two. In terms but of like hardware, not at all. In terms of games, I mean games, it, I would agree. I would agree wholeheartedly. And that's all that really matters. And that, to that's me. true for me too. And the thing and, is, like, I bought a Wii U at launch because I was like, because like at least I can trust this about Nintendo. Even if nobody buys this thing and it goes completely bust and it's massively unsuccessful, it's still gonna have Mario Kart, it's still gonna have Smash Brothers, it's still gonna have Zelda, it's still gonna have, like, and, and of course, uh, I... Still gonna have Metroid? <laughs> nope. Uh, Metroid is not one of my <laughs> favorite Nintendo franchises. <laughs> wow. It's one of mine, but for much different reasons than most people would think. And, and, and like, I'm not saying that to be like, geez, what, what are you guys so upset over Federation Force? I, I totally understand that. Um, I've likened it to, like, Donkey Konga, where, like, the last time that, you that, like, Metroid fans got, like, a really great Metroid game was 2007. And after all this time, you know, they finally reveal a brand new Metroid game, and it's something completely different. I don't think... Yeah, It's yeah. a spin-off. I mean, it's like it's like when they announced Hyrule Warriors, except Hyrule Warriors got positive reception because it's well, Hyrule actually Warriors. A good imagine if they and because imagine if they like announced Hyrule Warriors, Warriors and, it hadn't, and it there hadn't been like a real Zelda game in like seven years. Like that. That's well. well someone <laughs> argue there hasn't been. Well, we, we did get our M though in 2010, and as awful as that story was, the gameplay was yeah, really I, solid. I, uh, if you can get past uh, using wow. the D-pad to move in 3D space, yeah. I thought the control was awkward, to be honest. It took Switching some getting used to, but I really enjoyed that. I've actually had a craving to replay other M, believe it or not. By the way, how many people in this chat like Skyward Sword? I hate that game. I, I could not put really up with it long enough to even make it past the, the gigantic tutorial section. Like, I, I never made it into the first time. I have a sad story of Skyward Sword. When I finally got around to playing Skyward Sword, I kind of was binging on it. I went halfway through the game, and my Wii bricked, and I had to send it into Nintendo for repairs, and oh. I lost all my save data. I was halfway through the game, and I have yet to pick it up. That again was kind of me day. with Twilight Princess, honestly, because I rented it on the GameCube before I got my Wii, and I played through like half of it, and then like. Then a couple years later, like even as long as it had been when I got it on the GameCube, I was like, do I really want to go through all this wolf link bug collecting stuff again? But I actually, I like the, the bug collecting uh, isn't all that bad compared to like Gold Skull Tula wolf, hunting and Ocarina of Time. But it is time. mandatory. And at least Wolf Link or, isn't but wolf it is. Sonic. It's better than Triforce hunting in uh, in Wind Waker. That's why I love the HD version of Wind Waker. They shortened that quest by like half. Oh, thank goodness it needed it. I haven't got that far in the HD version yet. I do have it, though. You have the fast sale. Uh, Shay is saying that, uh, so Shay says that Federation Force, like, they announced a year ago they there was no Metroid Let's game in development. Em. No way a Prime game could be made in that time. All they needed to do was go, here's a placeholder while we make so an awesome game, but they weren't arsed. Yeah, I feel like that, that would have been better, too. Once, once you get the 3DS capture, I think we need to do, like, a, a, a geek critique Let's Play for the classic channel of Federation <laughs> Force. <laughs> I, I can't remember like where I said this yesterday, but as soon, like as when I was watching the the, the uh, Nintendo event, like as soon as I saw Federation Force, I was like, it doesn't matter like what else Nintendo shows, people are gonna hate this. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Nintendo had this point in like 2010 or so where they were just really, they weren't putting out any games. Their system wasn't selling. I mean, they were putting out games, but they were they were just really weak. Like, they put out New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which was really weak. They put out Other hey, M, which nobody liked. Skyward hey, Sword, which only Hunter a few Returns people liked. favorite Wii game. <laughs> and that came out in 2010. That's true. There, Wii there was a cop out. It's Metroid Prime Trilogy. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, that's a cop out, but still, I, I think it counts because it is, it is probably the coolest thing you yeah. can have on a Wii. You know, aside from oh, Brawl. Yeah, I adore that. I think yeah, we're all kind of forgetting I, I, Brawl. Well, Brawl came out in 2008. Yeah, I was Brawl. I was thinking but, 2010. Well, that was that was before. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking during that period, like after Brawl, they weren't really releasing anything like 
really good. And so now they're like, oh shit, we need to put out, start putting out some good games, guys. And so they put out 3D World, they put out the new Smash, they put out this new Zelda that looks fucking amazing. Uh, uh, which, yeah, the open the, world the, the one they announced one? at E3 last year. Yeah. People keep speculating about if Link's going to be a girl in this one or not, and I don't understand. Well, I thought, like, who cares? from the original reveal trailer, yeah. that's where people were speculating, but hasn't Nintendo come out now and said, like, no, Can no, Link is, <laughs> Link is not a girl? Yeah, I... Although we might possibly get a girl version of Link in the 3DS yeah. version of Hyrule Warriors based on concept arts. Well, Zelda's like the only franchise they can get away with replacing a male character with a female like that just because it's already established it's a yeah, different yeah. Link every time. I, I would be perfectly okay with that. Yeah, so they could just easily do it. I mean, I mean, why I not? Mean, it's, it's Mario that would be that very strange. Be, uh, that might make people mad. Hey, we got Super Princess Peach, and I that never game played was that actually game kind of okay. All, surprisingly, how... Uh, it was good, yeah. but it was slow. 18. It, well, it's a weird game. Plus, you, it was kind of controversial. It got attacked by a lot of feminists. Because, yeah, yeah I know. You, Peach you, has you, the you power fight with your emotions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, to be fair, works. I mean, uh, considering... Oh, well, watch, a, watch the game theory on that one, and you'll see all oh, the jokes gosh. you need about it. Ha! Saved it. <laughs> You know, I, I, sometimes I feel like I'm the only person who thought Nintendo had a really good uh, E3 this year. Like, yeah, Federation Force looked kind of dumb, and Star Fox had uh, outdated graphics, but it looked fun, and freaking uh, yeah. Super Mario Maker. I cannot express how excited I am for that, especially since I was not excited for it before E3. I'm still not all that excited for it. I mean, I'll probably end up getting it anyway, but basically I think some Nintendo executive head say hey you know rom hacks let's sell <laughs> that. that's fine though like as soon as like the the what was it called like yeah. the mario crossover i think it's called where you can play as like all the different characters in super mario brothers that yeah yeah, yeah that fan game yeah, like as soon as i saw that i was like god nintendo would that make so much going. money if they did this didn't they that's already make it called the subspace <laughs> emissary <laughs> oh gosh like i i do feel like um like, I thought when Nintendo came out with NES Remix that they might be doing more stuff like that. Like, more stuff sort of not just repackaging the same material, but changing, like, their old games around and, and, and letting you experience them in different ways. Uh, but aside from NES Remix and its sequel and its uh, 3DS port <laughs> compilation thing, um, yeah, I haven't really seen much of that. Um, by the way... I'm really excited about Mario Maker because the way Nintendo is doing it is that they're not letting they're, they're not letting people go loose. They're just they're they have this rating system in place to where you can only rate a level if you yeah. beat it. And they're kind of I, doing I, I it think like that's little really big planet cool style. That that sounds a little broken though because if a level is impossible to beat, <laughs> that's it's true. never going to get rated. Well, exactly. That that's that's how they keep quality control though. It, a level should if not it gets be a certain, impossible to be. Oh, if it gets a certain amount of downloads and no one rates it, then they're like, oh, okay, it's something up. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the completionist to do his series on levels based on Kaizo Mario. By the way, one, one, one reason I'm excited for Mario well, Maker, I, I, like I've, I'm, aside from I guess Minecraft, which we talked a little bit about yesterday, but I've never really gotten into like the creation side of any video games. But I have heard that uh, Mario Maker will come with, like, I think either, I think about 100 levels, like, pre-built. So, it's basically, like, another, like, a new Mario game, yeah. like, from Nintendo right there, in addition to all the creation stuff. Yeah, that's, even if you don't want to make stuff, you've got, yeah. like, games still. That, that's that's how, uh, that's the really same cool. between each, um... Each style of Mario, because you know how you can spin like jump it. in Super Mario World. Will you be able to do that in like 8-bit Mario? No. Uh, no. It it was pretty it clear from the, the footage. Physics. Yeah, like even the core physics, like run speed and stuff, is different from each style. So wow. each level is made for each specific style. You won't be able to switch on the fly. That, that's what it yeah, seems like. I yeah, I mean there might be a way because it'll. It'll let you edit any level, so you'll be able to switch it. But then you'll find something's unbeatable because it needs the uh, like the wall jump or something. And my question is, will you be able to play as Luigi? If you have a Luigi amiibo. <laughs> my question is, will you be able to play as Sonic? If, Josh, well, if they I make guess. if they make that, that, Mario that Maker, that actually makes me wonder. 
Does that mean I'll be able to play Mario games as Sonic? <laughs> if if someone makes Mario Maker, I mean, if someone if they release Sonic as a DLC character for Mario Maker, then someone can make John Sonic <laughs> Jam Seven. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> All right, uh, this part was the most like uh, th this was the biggest dr adrenaline rush I'd ever had in a video game the first time I played it. <laughs> yeah, this is what made Sonic Adventure <laughs> sell. Because I, I came into that area and I was like, where do I go? What am I supposed to do now? And then I walk over and stand on that floor and I'm like, oh my god! I'm kind of disappointed they didn't use the uh, section below this in yeah, Sonic yeah. Generations. The, I'm kind of disappointed that you're not playing yeah. through the story mode. That way we can riff on all the cutscenes. That would be a lot of fun, but I mean, <laughs> if <laughs> that's the bonus goal, basically. But then if we do oh, that, yeah, how are you ever going to redub this game? We'll just be doing it for you. <laughs> that, that, that's the plan, see. Uh, well, it would it would be it would be the uh, it would be the uh, what's the word? The word is the word. Yeah. Watch out! I you're guess. gonna crash! Oh. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm falling. I don't. I mean, it's it's kind of like what you were saying earlier, Josh. It's it's like if I redub this game, it's like it it would probably be taking some mm -hmm. of the charm away from it. Okay. Because I think some people think this dub is so bad it's good. Aside from Sonic, who's your favorite character to play as in this game? Any of you? Selected Knuckles. Character. Yeah, I'll, Knuckles. I'll give it to Knuckles. Knuckles. Oddly Sucked enough, I like playing as uh, Gamma. So, to, to briefly go through them, let's see. Tails, I like Tails a lot, but his levels are so freaking short, you know? Oh yeah, it's because half of it is uh, Knuckles is a lot of fun, hits. though, because, you know, you, you, you sort of get that 3D, I guess, adventure-esque, no pun intended, aspect to him. I like. I feel like I like Amy, but um, a little bit more than, than a lot of people do. <laughs> I wish she yeah, had more yeah. levels. I mean, this game feels very Sonic biased. Well, I think that's that makes okay. It is his game, and I think that his gameplay is, is by far it's the most fun. the opposite of uh, Sonic Adventure's problem. Yeah, but they didn't really flesh out any of the characters that much. I mean, especially Big. He gets power ups hidden throughout the map, and you're gonna yeah. miss Big, most of Big, them. Big, we'll talk about. We'll talk about uh, some other time. Uh, Gamma's fun. I actually like. Let's get him. Shine Shark FTWs points out that you have to beat a Mario Maker level to so publicize it. I think that's a good. Idea. Well, that means yeah, well, they, yeah, they are so beatable. You then you can't make a, an impossible level. Which means fuck oh, you, good. Kaizo that's Mario good. developers. <laughs> but then someone's gonna make like a level that just starts you right in front of the flagpole. By the way, what's your favorite level in Sonic Adventure One? Favorite For me, level. it's a uh, speed highway or Red Mountain. So I, I really like this section of the game. <laughs> yeah, Red Mountain. Is I'm great. gonna go. Ha I'm that's, gonna have to give it to Speed Highway. That's 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 really hard for me to pick. I would like Windy Valley, but it has too yeah. many glitchy areas where you can you fall have, off. You guys ever seen the beta? I have never seen that happen before. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> uh, you'll you'll see it what on the stream in a second. We'll see. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. I guess it's coming up right now. Now, my, actually, my favorite. Whoa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have my no idea. idea. What? Is what? The, um, <laughs> well, then. My favorite level okay. is the Egg Carrier Adventure Field. That is pretty neat. <laughs> There's just so yeah. much shit to do yeah, there. Yeah, fellow Eggman and almost Cow Garden. No, no, no. My favorite. My favorite level is the Mystic <laughs> Ruins Chow Garden. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Pro okay. Jared did a good time, review. Time to admit some stuff. How many hours do you guys think you've spent in Chow Gardens? Too you many. know what? I never bothered with it. I'm like some call me Johnny. I never saw the appeal. Last a quarter of an hour. I spent quite a bit of time with the Chow, especially in Adventure One. Um, you know, I. If you guys ever want to look into it, and you have Sonic Adventure Two on PC, I recommend a mod called so called Chow World Extended. It really fleshes out all the concepts of the Chow World, how, like, how they would have been if Sonic Adventure 2 ever got a sequel. That sounds cool. It's yeah. a really good mod. The, uh, on the Dreamcast, there was like you could download a VMU program that let you edit Chow, like from the VMU. It, it was it was really Ooh, really nice. Neat. There was like a whole indie scene of like <laughs> of like VMU game developers, and of course they were never very complicated or really very good, <laughs> but but I always loved that stuff. Uh, it's Kino asks, did any of you ever play Sega Superstars? The never I played the iToy game, game, no. 
I I played I had it an once. Boy. I haven't PS3 knew one. anyone with an iToy. I read the PS2 one, but I did play it once at a friend's house. I only had two games for the iToy, and both of them were iToy Play <clears throat> iToy just... something. I didn't have any official. I also say, games saw VK Mai say that every time he watches me play Sonic, it makes him want to play it even less. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't okay. read that one on purpose. <laughs> Maybe you just need to be a good guy. Yeah, the iToy is a funny piece of hardware because I totally forgot about it when they announced the Kinect, and I'm like, wait a minute, they did this 12 years ago with the uh, PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, it, it works better. I forgot the mention. <laughs> I didn't I forgot the touch. Dustin What's that? Master is here. Hello, Dustin, Dustin. Master is here. I didn't even touch any of the uh, camera sort of stuff for games until. Uh, I got a PlayStation camera for the PS4, and it's like, I didn't even get that for camera games. I got that for the only time I... recognition. I just got it because I Are there wanted crosses in a Sonic yeah, game? I guess so. Uh, the only time I... The set out of Castlevania, The only time here. I ever played, like, any sort of a camera-based game was uh, when the Kinect first came out, and, like, they would have it set up in retail stores. I, I'm sad to say that I do own a copy of Sonic Free Riders. And I would love it. to play it, honestly. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Well, no, no you wouldn't. Let's get no, like, I know like it's going to be awful, but it's a Sonic game. I would like to play it. It would be like, be like John Tron. Ready, 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 ready. <laughs> Once you once if you have your Kinect calibrated correctly, you can actually play it. It's just a real pain. Yeah, like that. That's a... uh, be on two face. BM Two Face asks, "Are you going to do the boss fights?" Um, well, that, that's Good another question. thing. If like if we hit the bonus goal, then I'll have to because I'll have to play the story mode. So the bon so the boss fights will be part of that. You, did you ever unlock Metal Sonic? Uh, not in the game. Dreamcast version. He's only in the DX version. Yeah. No, oh really? You I thought get he was all in the both. emblems. Although Metal Sonic and um, oh, <laughs> both Metal and I guess Mecha Sonic. Uh, do do have a cameo in the uh, near uh, near final egg in the adventure fields? They kind of did a lazy thing with Metal Sonic. He automatically has Sonic's power ups, but you know how Sonic gets yeah. that aura when he charges it. Metal Sonic has Sonic's aura, and then no, I, I thought Metal up. Sonic was kind <laughs> of an underwhelming unlock, honestly, because he. I thought it was pretty neat, just because Metal Sonic. Well, my favorite Sonic I, I know character. that's gonna help, but it's just. Like, I know he has to play just like Sonic, so he's still compatible with the fields, but it was disappointing just how much he played just like Sonic, I guess. I did like the way that he had different running animations yeah. and different sound effects. I, You know, I said it earlier that Speed Highway is my favorite level, but I really like this level, too. Oh, this, another thing I forgot about Metal Sonic. Stuff, After you uh, play later. as him, Eggman will be the voiceover for the menus. Really? Is that how that works? Because you know how, because you because you know how after each after you play a character they become yeah. the voice over the menus. Well, actually, the, uh, after you play as Metal Sonic, Eggman becomes the voice over on the menus. Have you ever listened to the Japanese uh, act Sonic uh, say stuff on the menus? It's hilarious. Because when he's cause when he's talking about tutorials, he says how to pray as Sonic, <laughs> how to pray as. Tails. How to pray as... Oh, man. <laughs> I just died to a bad nick. <laughs> no, the... Yeah, it is pretty hilarious, because, like, apparently in Japan, Sonic says, like, English phrases all the time. Yeah. Well, because his, his voice actor is actually uh, an English professor. Let's get them! But, yeah. I mean, that adds to the charm, I think, for me. That's why it's I usually English play Sonic and games. He can't speak Japanese. English right. One thing I don't understand is how come Sonic had the same voice actor since the Adventure Games, yet America they can't freaking decide. Well, I yeah, talked bit... to Josh about this a little bit. In Japan, voice actors are basically celebrities. They're treated the same way real actors are here. So, so... that's why they replaced <laughs> David Hayter. <laughs> Kojima's a little I don't bit know, different. But... Kojima's oh, a little Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do we know if... The thing is... Like, in Japan, is, Metal, Ge is like Metal Gear also... Is Snake also getting up with a different voice actor? Yes. No, no, you he has the same, same voice same actor. actor. Um, and that's well, what pisses me off. It's probably because they wanted someone for mocap, as far as I understand. Uh, they wanted someone with live-action experience, and I guess maybe Kojima didn't know when, that they would hit or done live-action. Did you see the action. E3 trailer for NPS5? <laughs> 
Yes. Um, <laughs> which one? The, the one with uh, the little blonde haired kids at the end. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but. Like, I think that might have something to do with it. Like, like maybe Kojima wants to differentiate Solid Snake from Big Boss with this game. It's possible, but at this point, Actually, I don't think we're going to see any more Metal Gear. I think but, it's going to uh, be, like, Metal Gear Solid 2, where you think it's going to be a different actor, but when the game actually comes out, it's going to be a hitter. You know, that would not surprise me, Kojima is in yeah, this for yeah. fucking with people. <laughs> that would be amazing. This would okay, be who's Mike hates to be new? What What's the that? hell is all that? Yeah, we're getting a lot of noise. Who, who's, who's doing that? It's not, it's not me. <laughs> Did somebody just breathe on the mic? <laughs> Okay, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just raped? I don't okay? care. Mike just wasn't. <laughs> I'm right. But yeah, I, I kind of have thought for a while now that maybe the plan, because uh, I know Kojima has expressed interest in remaking the MSX games, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if he wanted a different actor for Big Boss so that I call bullshit. Hager could play Salt and Lake. I call bullshit on that, because Kojima actually approved of a fan-made remake of the MSX games, with David Hitter as the voice actor for both Solid Snake and Big Boss, yet really? Konami shut down. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Probably I mean, fucks everything up. I, yeah. I really hope that, Konami really. goes under and sells off all their IPs. I want... Yu-Gi-Oh! to go to Wizards of the Coast so it can become an actually competent card Wait, game. Was it at one time? I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I used to defend Yu-Gi-Oh! regularly until I realized it sucks. I, it, I still play terrible. it and I still enjoy it, but I wish it was better, and that's why I think if Wizards of the Coast had it, it would be good. Well, For me, it's gotten actively worse over the years because uh, they keep making it less and less balanced with worse cards. I don't think I have any music actually, here, by the way. These days, the... Actually, these days they're trying to make it better. They're re releasing reprints of cards that are making them more balanced, believe it or not. Well, it's about time. They, I've given up on them for making it too bad uh, after the, uh, several the years. Only T, the only TCG... Wait, hang on, I can do this. The only TCG that TGC ever played was Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> also, for some reason, the music has failed to load in this section. Yeah, it might be... Actually, I, I don't think it, Actually, it in is in the Dreamcast version. They're barely... There's, like, ambient noise in this no, section, normally but not really music. music. No, yeah, it normally plays music, but I think in the Dreamcast version, there is no... No, I'm sure. No I'm, absolutely, I'm absolutely sure that the Dreamcast version normally plays music here. That being said, the Dreamcast version seems to be a lot more glitchy than the DX version. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I never had a chance to... Also yeah. because of the emulator. That's true. I never had a chance the, the to talk emulator to is about so cool. guys. Um, what are you guys' top games V3 this year? Uh, Super uh, Mario Maker. Move 3 is the first thing that comes to mind. Mm, that's definitely right, I'm really excited about Final that. Fantasy 7 Remake. Unpopular pick, maybe? South Park? The Fresh <laughs> Is that Buffalo. what it's called? I didn't even know that. I can, I can I, see <laughs> Yes, that is what it's called. The Fractured Butt Hole. It's a huge one T, but yeah. it's a pun. <laughs> It is a it is a glorious pun. It's I'm not sure if I'm excited for that one because uh, if it's, a it's sequel being to developed stick by a different truth, studio. But if they're gonna make it like Stick of Truth, I'm excited about it. And at least they got the art style correct. Yeah, the art style is right. The writing is gonna be on point. I'm just worried about uh, the gameplay since Obsidian's not returning for this one. If if that's the case, then just watch Jesse Cox play it. It'll by the way, be, I cannot pronounce funny. this name, but I got a donation. <laughs> it's from. S E U M I D H. The, the the last name is McDonald. I can say that, but <laughs> it's for uh, seven dollars and eighty six cents. So thank you very much. I think awesome. I think that's pronounced <laughs> that's a very specific. Well, amount. it might be it might be that PayPal is taking out its fee. Like he, like maybe he that's actually Shay. donated eight dollars. I just googled oh, that it? name. That's Shay. Well, how much <laughs> did you take out when I gave you money? That's uh. Oh yeah, someone someone pointed out Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. That yeah. also looks pretty it's cool. It's pronounced Jay May. <laughs> I'm not gonna get my hopes up for that. All right, so thank you very much, Jay. I'm not gonna get my hopes up for that one because the Mario and Luigi series has been on a steady decline, and the Paper Mario series fell off a cliff. Well, I, I mean, this might be their chance to bring it back. 
because um, I mean, Partners in Time, I think, was the worst game in the Mario and Luigi well, series. Here, it's somebody gotten do, better. Somebody do the math for me: two dollars minus seven eighty-six, and that's how far away we are from the DX version, and also um, like the story mode. Twelve dollars, right, twelve and fourteen cents. Twelve fourteen away from that. I really enjoy Partners in Time, though. Partners in Time, there was a lot that it did right, but it kind of had the Namely same the problem music. as Final Fantasy XIII, which is that everything. <laughs> It, it's it's just so much. Well, yeah, everything's wrong with FF13. It's, but this it's specific... more linear, I think. The only Mario but Luigi that I really got into was but, Bowser's but see... Inside Story, but I love that game. I, I think I beat it twice. Superstar see, here's, Saga. Is so here's my, my opinion. I I I never beat Superstar Saga because I thought it was a little bit too open ended. If that makes a little bit more sense, but Partners in Time was just. Is, was extremely linear, but I think Bowser's Inside Story kind of focused it a little more to where it wasn't as linear as Partners, but it was less um, open-ended as Superstar Saga, which I think made it the best. You sound like you're too picky. <laughs> uh, fun I, fact about the Mario I, Luigi series. Um, I actually only found this out a few weeks ago. Uh, apparently, most of the team at Alpha Dream that's been working on them is former... Uh, Squaresoft employees who worked on Super Mario RPG. So it's not just like a spiritual successor, really cool. it's a lot of That's the really same cool team. To hear. That, that, that makes me a lot more a lot excited for it than I was before. Oddly enough, I didn't like Mar Super Stars, or not Legend of the Seven Stars. I don't think Stars. you're alone like in that. that it seems that like, like, I, play, like I, I said this yesterday, like that was the first RPG I ever played. And unfortunately, I think it kind of gave me a lot of the wrong ideas about what other RPGs would be like. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what my first RPG was. Mine was Kingdom Hearts. Get out of this! <laughs> get out of the Skype. That ball. barely counts. Hey, fuck you, man! It's a good game. I detest that series with a strong. Oh, passion. passionate hatred. That's <laughs> that's what the geek critique is all about. I like the story of Kingdom Hearts, but I didn't care for the gameplay until uh, By Sleep came out, because uh, 1 and 2 were both so button mashy. Not any challenge at all. To be honest, that's I can, how I felt I can about agree it with that. I, I played 1, but I couldn't get over the fact that you can't skip cutscenes. Oh my god, I hate when games don't let you skip cutscenes. It's fine the first time through, because you want to see yeah. it, but if you ever want to replay it... Oh, yeah, my problem with Kingdom Hearts is the story is beyond complicated. It's like I can handle, <laughs> I can handle Metal, Metal Gear, Gear but, Kingdom but you Hearts... can't handle Kingdom Hearts. That's that's <laughs> saying a lot. Oh yeah, there's some truth oh, to that. It's very complex. Like it's consistent yeah. and it makes sense, but you have to pay hella close doing? attention let's, uh, to let's, it. Let's give them some some shine. Shame the dog oh, yeah, points Pokemon. out that his first RPG was that's Pokemon. Probably both. Yeah, that's that's mine too. I forgot about that. Yeah, my, that, not the, in, that, in that case, my first RPG right, right. was Pokemon Gold. Oh Mine man, was, I'm dating myself. Uh, my yellow. first Mario RPG before Pokemon Red was even out. Well, in oh, America, I'm not that old. <laughs> Pokemon was out before Mario RPG in Japan. Zorkus Fine asks, uh, "Hey, this is a bit off topic, but am I the only one who likes all six characters in Adventure well, 2? Well, <laughs> really, all three characters to an extent." <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, if we're gonna get technical, there's a lot more than six. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's weird because like, I like all the characters and their game based styles. What I don't like is the actual level design for the Knuckles and Rouge stages. I like the level design. I just find it is very difficult for people who don't understand. I have the how same the game complaint is supposed with to the work. Knuckles and Rouge stages that I think everybody has. Why in the world would you make it so the radar only picks up one emerald at a time? That yeah. is and big, that that's it has I believe there's a mod yeah. that fixes Love that. It. I believe there's a mod on the Steam version that fixes that. Well, and the one emerald at a time thing wouldn't even be so bad if the levels weren't so enormous. Like, if you're looking in the wrong place, if you just happen to be not where you need to be, then you have to navigate the whole level, which can take a good two yeah, minutes. Yeah, I especially hate the uh, the pyramid, like the uh, the levels, the Knuckles and Rouge levels that take place in the pyramid in Adventure Two. I figured you'd bitch about <laughs> I really like Space Meteor. Hurt. <laughs> I love. Am I the one who likes the Knuckles raps? No, those are awesome. 
I like them awesome. in sort of a similar way to how I like the Sonic R soundtrack. Like, <laughs> Fun fact, those are done by Dread Fox, who is not only a real-life rapper, Parappa but the actually rapper, the voice yeah, yeah. of Parappa Rapper. <laughs> yeah, really? I didn't... <laughs> no relation to me, by the way. <laughs> Zorkus uh, Pine asks, has anyone fixed the cut uh, the Steam version of the game? I don't think so. Of uh, Sonic Adventure yeah. 2, presumably, with the Everyone yeah, talking over each other. Extreme. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure somebody's the, uh, done it. Here's the mural. Someone needs way. to do it before I read of it. Always thought that was cool. You know, if they if they can, if the mod can make it so that yes. the Chow Garden becomes the best thing ever, I'm sure they can do other stuff with it. I'm so Chaos. happy that there's mod support for Sonic Adventure 2 on PC. Did you know that there's actually a simple edit you can do to replace all the billboards with the original Dreamcast versions? And it's like you have to delete one file. Well, it, wait. Really? So if this those soap what? advertisements, you can get them back really Is it related to easy. the, uh, like the adding the battle add-on? Does so that change that? Okay, that's um, interesting. No. <laughs> the, the cat... There's I really don't know what the battle add-on changes, uh, honestly. The chat is talking about Meteor Herd in Matt's space. I, so, somebody remind, reminded uh, reminded me of the, the hint in reverse. Like, it was, it, I, I love when it's really obvious about that. Like, the emerald is not next to a next to a box of containers on the third on like on like the third level. You know what I'm talking about? In either Mad Space or Meteor Herd, oh. like all the hint monitors that you can find. Like get t like, tell you the opposite of, of what's true, or they do it in some convoluted yeah. way. Like they do backwards or upside down, or they just blatantly state that it's not yeah, there that's... and it just lies to you. Upside down and all like around. No, we already have to be high. Although we will be back there later. That, remember when uh, that was a T-shirt? Yeah. I missed I missed getting out on that. Oh, and I'm kicking of... myself for it. BK Myers says that now that I'm drunk and listening to you guys talk about the Sonic modding community, I think I'm understanding about 20% <laughs> of the words you're saying. Woohoo. DuckTales. <laughs> I, Woo I think he's happy now. Sonic Mike says there's a mod to force the game to ignore yeah, I, the I DLC. Yeah, I have that actually. That's interesting. Why would, well, not, why okay, would you Okay, not to ignore that? the DLC, but rather just to, like, it gives you the, the Sonic Adventure 2 title screen instead of the Battle title screen. Uh, among other things. I like the battle title screen, honestly. Um, what were you going to say earlier, Josh? Well, I, before I read... Oh, Game yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh, speaking of Sonic Retro, awesome. I forgot, like, I posted a topic about this stream that was going... that I was doing it yesterday. Uh, if anybody with a retro account wouldn't mind going back to that topic and, like, like mentioning that it's going on again now, I forgot to do that. All right, I'd be there right now. And Should if you also want to, like, post a link to, been... like, yesterday's playlist, that'd probably be cool, too. I try to make oh, a retro okay. account, but they don't <laughs> add anybody. Uh, which they is kind of shitty for a to long be while. They have, like, a, do they have, like, a referral system? No, they no. have... You have to prove yeah, your When I registered, basically. you had to take a test, actually. Well, the, yeah, that they, they removed the test yep. now, but now you have to, like... You have to introduce yourself and and make a point for how valuable you would be to the community. And you know, I made I made my. They must have a serious problem with trolls there. Then. Um. Well, for what it's worth, uh, a lot of people didn't get added not because they weren't meant to, but because uh, they got really backlogged for a while, and so some people got spider <laughs> elevator. Bye, tails. I don't know. It it seems kind of shitty to be honest. I know it's to prevent little kids from joining, you know, a Sonic board, but I don't Which know. Which just makes sense. I mean, it's kids are the primary. Yeah, demographic. but but when we're talking about yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's not just to like prevent trolls or whatever. It's also sort of to maintain the quality of the community. I think is the way that, is the way they look at it. I think the main argument is that um, there is another, th there are other places for like Sonic fans who just want to bullshit and stuff instead of uh, instead of like doing research and all that. Because I mean, there, 
I don't believe in that argument because they don't really exist anymore. Sonic well, Overthrow is really that's, only... That's still a big thing, isn't it? Well, that's true. Just the official <laughs> Sega Oh, the official Sega, Sega forums. How much fun. Well... God, okay. Oh, yeah. I posted, like, my you Sonic guys... 3 retrospective on the Sega forums, and it got a good response. But every topic there devolves into an argument about Sonic Adventure. It's amazing. Did you guys know that the original Sonic Adventure 2 site is still up and the BBS yeah, it is still active? Yeah, yeah, it was the last. I remember going there wow. on my Dreamcast. Josh, did you know that you can eventually kill yeah. all of those crabs? Wait, 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 no, I didn't. I thought they just spawned forever. Yeah, you, I remember, they eventually stop. I, I remember I going that, on that it, board years ago and they were talking about Unleashed, and I, I felt this odd sense of sadness and nostalgia about looking at a website that was basically <laughs> dying. You go to the, you go to the Space Jam website. Okay, I posted the link on Retro. HomestarRunner.com. Hey, you know, Homestar Runner's had some, had some new content in the past couple of years. Yeah, it's been updated know, like three times yeah, it's, in the past it's, few months. It's quote-unquote come back <laughs> at least five times. Yeah. it's it, They're updating like once or twice a month now. Still not nearly as often as they used to. We haven't seen anything since uh, April. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe not once or twice a month, but still more often than that, like, four-year yeah, gap yeah. they took. Well, they kind of had children introduced into the yeah, family, so Yeah, and I know so one of them started working on, like, the Nick Jr. show, Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh, they yeah. were both working on that for a while. Did any of you ever play SBCG 4 yes. AP? <laughs> it took me a minute to yes. realize they're accurate, but yeah, I played it. it all. <laughs> That's a strong, bad, cool game for attractive people. <laughs> I, I loved what they that. did with that, but I wish there'd be a season two. Especially now nice. that Telltale knows how to make really good games. But I don't know how they could differentiate it enough from season one to be worth it. New writing. I, I get the impression that that's kind of why they haven't done it. Dangerous uh, 47 wants to know if this is the first playthrough of today. What did, what did I miss? And yeah, this is this is the first one of today. Oh, we yeah. just finished Final so, Egg. I I'm going to give you a few minutes here, because I really do kind of just want to play the DX version, just so we could, like, riff on the story. Yes, VK Mize, what are you even doing so, here? Yeah, about like, $12. What, $12? Bucks, they donated uh, 786 Okay, do it! $8! Yeah. <laughs> so if anybody, if anybody wants to throw that, right, I'm going to we'll go ahead and do that, too. Operators <laughs> are standing by. Uh, Dustin says SBC G4AP2 would be amazing. By the way, whoever, whoever brought up Strong Bad School Game for Attractive People, I'm impressed that you were able to pull that acronym out of your ass so quickly. I That's own the physical copy ah. of it on PC. I have an actual DVD of it. I know I played, I played huh. through the first episode, and I played through the last episode, and I really enjoyed the last episode in particular. It, uh, oh yeah, it has all kinds of like, retro gaming cool. references, and you know, I, I played I played Peasants Quest back in the day. Well, I, I love the entire series because I'm a big Homestar Runner fan. I've seen literally everything that's on that site. I, I think I devoted a good two years of my life to just catching up on that as soon as I discovered what it was. Yeah, and I, it was well I, worth Homestar it. Homestar Runner is actually how I discovered Wikipedia, because like, yes, it was. This was like what? in 2005. The Homestar Runner wiki was already up. And that's, that was the first wiki I found. So I remember I went on there, I'm like, wow, it's amazing that, they're, that they've documented so much and that this is all here, like, that people are doing this. And then one time... And then you spent the next five hours falling into a wiki hole, looking up every I single did, thing that's ever... I did, I did, but here's the crazy thing. <laughs> here's the crazy thing. Like, Homestar mind. Runner made a reference to, uh, like, Dragon Ball Z. And there was a link to Dragon Ball Z, so I clicked on it, and now... It, but it actually linked to Wikipedia, but it was the same layout, so I didn't notice. So I'm like, why is this Homestar Runner site writing this in-depth article about Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and that's when I was like, wait, <laughs> this is something called Wikipedia. What is this? <laughs> How old uh, were 17. you when this happened? Wow. <laughs> Too old to not notice. It was the same layout, like I said. Um, but yeah, the Homestar Runner wiki is pretty cool. Um, I know the Brothers Chaps have mentioned repeatedly so that uh, they use that for reference since they don't remember their own stuff <laughs> as well as it's uh, documented. Yeah, that, 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 that makes perfect sense. Options. If I was that big, yeah. I'd probably do that too. 
sound test. Operators are standing by, guys. Eight more dollars, and Josh will play yeah, we'll Sonic a, Adventure we'll DX. Two more minutes. In the meantime, go <laughs> okay. to the trail guard. <laughs> Why not? I remember I once donated twenty dollars to a Sonic fan stream for a solid half hour of people going around beating the shit out of Chow. <laughs> I am a terrible person. Oh, it's not too terrible. It's not like they were real chow. Yeah, this is just running on an emulator, so it's it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I see, some, like, there's okay. people in the chat who a couple times have been like, this is so glitchy because you're running it on an emulator. Like, you know, that, uh, that does kind of make sense. I'm emulating my Shenmue playthrough, and textures pop in and out, and half every so often I make the joke about ghost people <laughs> and Rio being a vampire, because his textures oh, that that show up in mirrors. That happens on the Dreamcast, too, that people occasionally just so, sort of fade into existence. Oh god, what's Sonic doing? <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun when, it, when the stream catches up. Okay, new, new stretch goal. If you donate a dollar, you get to name a chow. <laughs> Whoa, his eyes. Oh, oh okay. So Sonic, okay, stop, <laughs> please. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it again here. I think it was related to... Answer your phone! The egg Sorry. Will hatch naturally after a while. Yeah, look at this! <laughs> help the egg hatch. I never noticed that before. You hatch the egg, the characteristics of a chow He's just sitting down. Egg. BM2 Face says Shenmue is what happened to Silent Hills. Yeah, neither do I. I Silent Hills got cancelled. Shenmue is getting... Yeah. There, there, was, there was rumors that Microsoft wanted to buy it out and get it, make it Xbox One exclusive, but the numbers rumored were ridiculous. They were talking like $2 billion, and Microsoft's not going to shell okay, out we've that got a problem for here. game. They well, shot that. Like they they says... Yeah, but that's Minecraft. Minecraft is a multi-billion dollar... I feel like it's, this it's is relevant to where the stream is right now. I feel like this is relevant to where the stream is right now. I just posted so, it in the chat. All right. Uh, VKMI says that, uh, he, that he donates a dollar a month, <laughs> and, and he wants okay. me to name the cow Scrooge. We're running into a problem here, because I wanted to do that, but you can't you can't name cow in the Dreamcast version unless you have, have a VMU. Hold up. Uh, to, to counter your image, I have another image. I can't really click on any of these images myself either. It's the Sonic 3D Blast beta. Oh yes, the menu screen. I know the you one. You know, you know the one. And I and I and I posted another image that's even better. I have one to post animal, in a minute if I can find it. Using different animals. You know, I actually had one of those Sonic ice cream bars. Really? Once. How was it? <laughs> it? It was. Uh, Did it make you go fast? <laughs> no. Bright Spark asks, can't the emulator yeah, also Yeah, there is a way to do that, but it would be it complicated can. to get it to, just... like, pick up everything. Yeah. Unless you're using, like, XSplit, you can just record screen regions, in which case you yeah. just yeah. overlay it. I, I am probably not. Oh, well, um, that might be easier. This might screw up the cat, but let's see. Well, not the Hopefully chat, not. rather, but the, uh, the stream. The... Crossing my fingers, nothing gets yeah. screwed up. Okay, I can see the... I've got the window, like, s smaller now, and I can see that. Like, I can see the VMU things. Okay, I think I might actually be... I might... No, copy failed. Oh, well. Oh, the picture ah, actually it is. looks better. Sharing this in the uh, chat there. Well, yeah, the resolution yeah, kind of yeah, changed. Yeah, I uh, minimize like it's running in a smaller window now. It was running full screen before. Does it look better like this? It's the. Did any of you ever actually get the chance to play? Uh, with yeah, the I did thing? a ton. I <laughs> I spent what I had my parents spend way too much on CR two o uh, CR twenty thirty two batteries back then. I still have some lying around because I had like those Mega Man toys back in the day and I was used to those. So I could make my VMUs work and avoid the annoying beep, but yeah, the batteries really just do. die way too quickly. Plus, there wasn't really that much to do with them that you couldn't do in ports and remakes. Because chow raising is so much more convenient on a Game Boy Advance than it is on All a right, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to get 
<laughs> eight more dollars to play through the entire game again. Come on, Pokey! Uh, <laughs> my wallet's okay. closed. I'm sorry. All right. If we well, were streaming two days later, I'd <laughs> donate it myself. But I don't have. I don't get paid until uh, well, Tuesday. I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. We might. Do, we might do that next weekend. Why not? Some... I, I'm really enjoying this, so I, I would like to stream more often anyway. I'm up for that. Cool, cool. I am too. All right. So Scenic. next up, it's going to be Sonic Adventure Two, and this is a pretty big one. Uh, let me update the uh, the total, which is going to be. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to tell everyone. The surprise Ooh. I mentioned earlier. I don't even Ooh. know what this is. Ooh. Wait, there are presents? It doesn't matter now what happens. And I am muting oh, my call. We'll never give up the fight. Long as the force is inside, drives me to run and fight. It doesn't matter who is wrong and who is right. Fantastic. Andrew, I am suing you for <laughs> ear replacement. It was fine for was me. Was that too loud? No, but it was it was too no, obnoxious. It was, it was fine. It's just uh... uh do you want to explain what that's what that's from, uh, Cover? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh last year when Josh was streaming, he was having all kind of problem with his audio warping around, and I happened to record that <laughs> bit. And I decided it would be cool to lay it over the actual song. Josh, please. Post it is on my channel, on actually. Channel. It's on it. Yeah, if you watch to the very oh, end is? of the video where I announced this stream and like talked about all the stretch goals and stuff, at the very end, oh, it, okay. it's there. Okay. Just, just be careful what you're gonna play over your mic. We don't want this. We don't want this getting vod. Well, muted. at least that. At least it is music from a video game. Yeah, at least at least it's not that joke album that. Uh, that oh, Sonic Retro promoted <laughs> like a couple of months ago. <laughs> Trying to do the Knuckles Emerald Hunt on Sonic Retro, like every time you went into, I think like the old B form, like it was just a like it, the Pumpkin Hill music would switch to that. So if you had to <laughs> dig around in there for a long time, it was like, oh my god, shut up! Yeah, I, I'm glad I didn't partake in that because that just sounded like. Insanity. All right, this is another big stretch goal, our bonus goal, I guess. What do we got? He'll play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. No, not I this guess. time. Okay, Josh, I want your real opinion. Which version of Sonic CD is better, American <laughs> or Japanese? That was the bonus goal for Sonic CD, but we didn't make oh, it. Oh, we didn't make the goal for that. He will never reveal it. If we gain at least $50 during Sonic. You still Adventure. haven't done the no way thing. Actually, if you watch his Sonic CD review, he does reveal I do which indeed. Sonic he likes point. better. I've seen both. I've seen both. They <laughs> contradict each other. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a full PG right uh-huh. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yep. Oh, dear. Well, I thought, I thought he was already going to do it. I had that. already kind of thought about it, but I, I, I'm still not for sure on it. Well, okay. If you need if you need any help writing it, I can certainly try. I've played that game more well, times than I care to admit. Uh, it's actually uh, kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. You know, that's the only game in the series my brother-in-law doesn't hate. He doesn't like Sonic games, and he likes that one because it doesn't play like a Sonic does game. Does he like that it has yes, guns? It does. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's mostly it. He, he, he likes it because it feels uh, slower and less... Uh, uh, hey guys, uh, Lewis wants to jump in on yeah, the call. Well, He's you, on the you, Skype chat. I think, I think it's about time we, we sort of switch things around here. Would that be okay with you guys? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll jump for a little bit. Yeah, I'll uh, switch out for a little bit. All right, we'll, uh, br- we'll okay. check out bring you on, playing on right later. Uh, ben, what do you think? How, <laughs> do you want to stick around? Yeah. Who, me? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking. I have nothing to do all, all right, day. And Tyler, you want to stay in? Uh, Unless you need to I get don't think cut. I do. And Kovar, you're you're stuck with me no matter what. You can, you can't leave. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Good I stuff. wasn't gonna. You will never leave. Okay, so I think we'll bring on. Uh, we will go ahead and bring on Lewis one more time. Uh, just just for Sonic Adventure Two. 
Because he, he says he has to go. Yay. He has to go to bed soon. He has school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, well, so do I, but I don't care. I got work tomorrow, but if the stream runs late, I'm still going to get drunk and <laughs> stay on the it. chat. I don't condone drinking. I, I, I just I don't have a problem with people who do. I just I just don't do it myself. Um. Hello. Just a reminder, if we gain $50 during Sonic Adventure 2, Josh will play I'll Out play the what? Edge. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the nickname for, for, Son for Shadow the Hedgehog. Out or the Shadow edge. the Edgehog, as people call him. <laughs> uh, somebody asked, am I doing the Dreamcast version or Battle? I'm technically doing the Steam version. <clears throat> Which, uh, compared to the Sonic Adventure spe uh, original Steam version especially, is actually very competent. Except that it failed to start game, so that's not good. Oh, it's already running. There it is. It it is ah. the the original the original one is now, but yeah, God, I remember when it first came out. It didn't. It wasn't when it first came out. Yeah, I got I got Adventure Two Battle for the GameCube a few years ago for twelve pounds. Which was the, which the, uh, the GameCube bad. version. And been, the GameCube version, and I'm still trying to find try and track down the Dreamcast yeah, version, but it's thirty five quid right now. I bought I, that. I bought Adventure Two Battle on GameCube the day it was released. It was the first game I wow. ever bought at launch. When I got my GameCube, I it came bundled with Mario Sunshine, and they were having a deal where if you buy the GameCube, you get two games free. So I got Melee and Metroid Prime. I think I had a pretty good start with the GameCube. Oh uh, yeah. VK Mai says it's almost games. midnight on a Sunday, and I'm sitting here in my underwear drinking, watching people talk about games I don't <laughs> care for. What even is my life? <laughs> <laughs> what country are you in BK Mice? He is in Finland. Ah. Sonic Mike 2 says use all the uh, Hang on a second, I'm gonna have to all enable my controller. I forgot to do that. What controller do you use? What a scrub. Well, it's kinda weird, you have to like go in... There, there's like a weird glitch with it. Let me make, let me see if it's not gonna clear itself up. Yeah, where like, the gamepad doesn't show up in the configuration menu, so you have to go edit the INI file. I never had that problem. Uh, what kind of controller are you, are you using? I use a PS4 wireless. wireless. I didn't have. I don't remember having this problem with it the last I time I played it, but uh, I have lately. I use a PS4 controller for PC. I find it so perfect with the DS4 tool that lets you just reconfigure yeah. it any way you want, mm -hmm. and it works so good. And my favorite functionality oh, yeah. is using the uh, uh, trackpad on the DS4 as a mouse. I tried that, but it was all jittery. It, you, you gotta set the sensitivity. Or else it's gonna be I like, way I like janky. the 360 controller a lot. Especially I have the one with the little clicky, rotatey D-pad. Did you know oh, they make drivers the that let you use the, uh, the uh, Wii U GameCube yeah, yeah, adapter I, I on that. PC? <laughs> yeah, I have that. Yeah, I have that. I haven't bothered trying it because me and the GameCube controller don't get along as well as we used okay, to. I don't remember exactly what order stages go in in Sonic Adventure 2, but I know City Escape is first. Uh, City Escape City... is first, followed by uh, yeah. Metal Harbor, and yep. then I think the Pyramid level. Yeah. yeah. If somebody wants to look that up, then and then <laughs> then, then, then I'll go. Wait, in order. no. After after Metal Harbor is the Forest Age, then the yeah. Pyramid level. The Pyramid Cave. Then after that, it's crazy, crazy gadget I want to see. And then after that, it's the right on. last okay. level. Yeah, final. Cheat Freak no, 47 final. is one of the poor souls that has to deal with the crazy floating cars in City Escape. I don't know what that well, is. Kovar, Kovar, yeah, while you were testing this, like, you, you remember during that streetboarding section at the beginning, like, I had a gigantic car pile up. I've never seen it. <laughs> I've never seen that happen that bad. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Josh, can you restart so we can all sing along to City Escape? <laughs> okay, no, no, please. No. If you want me to, I can. Yes. So, somebody set up a straw poll, and if it and if you if the chat wants it, then yeah, I'll play through City Escape again and we'll all sing it. I will do it if we do it in Sonic Generations, but not here. <laughs> It'd be the same thing. I've modded Sonic Generations to use uh -huh. this music. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I like. I don't the hate remix, the remix, actually. but I like this a lot. For Margaret. I like the remix too. I like. I like That's true. I like Tony Hogan's Harnell's name. voice when it wasn't old. <laughs> in uh, in Generations, you said you modded it. Is that modern uh, classic? Modern. Or... Like modern uses this okay. music, classic still uses. I love the remix of uh, the, the classic remix of City Escape. Yeah, yeah. Endless yeah. Oh, I I, I think I think Cash Cash is the perfect 
guy. Oh, the perfect guys to do Sonic music. I still miss. Crash <laughs> I do too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I think they're a little outdated. Oh, they are. There's like, no doubt rock. they're outdated, but that's that's part of the appeal of it. I love butt rock. Okay, uh, BM Two Face made a straw poll. Should Josh sing City Escape? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Or Ducktales. <laughs> I am voting Ducktales. I am also voting Ducktales. <laughs> that's not going to give us a definitive answer. That you're, I think your poll might be flawed. No, it means you have to sing Ducktales. Right now, the uh, in order, we've got four yes. Nope. It's changing. Five yes. Okay. Five tails and two no. <laughs> uh, I wonder what DK my pick. <laughs> uh, he probably didn't pick DuckTales because it's spelled as two words instead of one. He is drunk, though. He might not have noticed. <laughs> Boost no, to one so, SRB2 posted okay. the order of the Sonic levels. Crazy Gadget and then Final Rush. In some generations, I personally think that Metal Harbor fits perfectly on Chemical hmm. Plant Modern. I yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I ever tried that. I did uh, mod that stage as well to cool. use a different remix of Chemical Plant because I didn't really care for the modern version they used there. Select the, stage. the only time I ever yeah, really I changed the music yeah. is for maybe if I want to do like a boss fight differently or the <laughs> pinball stage has to play Toxic <laughs> Caves. I play every single stage with the Sweet Mountain music <laughs> from Sonic Colors. Sweet Mountain? That, that, that does work. I do that with some of the missions sometimes. I actually haven't played the missions in a long time. Hmm. But like, for me, even those... the big one is always the Toxic Caves. Even though I love that jazz remix of Casino Night, I have that ah. in my phone. I like it so much. Yeah, it's Cheat Freak 47 wants you to play okay. DuckTales Adventure 2. <laughs> <laughs> it would not surprise me if that is actually... Is that not what I'm doing now? Yes. Y you know, you, he may be right. I mean, is with the way, that the, too? the way that Sonic sure looks like modding it. is, 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 is going, I'm, I'm sure that somebody might be able to make, like, a, a Scrooge McDuck mod for that game. At this rate, we're going to eventually have to, you're going to eventually have to do a geek critique. I used to have a mod you know where, yeah. so where in Sonic Generation, Sonic was replaced with a gigantic penis. So I know anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even? <laughs> I know that it exists. So I could make my friends play it and watch their reactions. The, the most hilarious thing about that mod, though, was if you go and fight Shadow, Shadow is replaced by an even bigger black penis. <laughs> what kind of dick would <laughs> make something like that? <laughs> so we're up to 50 no, viewers. Like hard to get we're up to what now? All 50 viewers. Yeah, I, think I think that's the highest we've had all weekend. Hello, everyone. I've oh, got yeah. If we ever do a stream again, I vote that we do, like, a online Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> yes. I have always wanted to play Cards Against Humanity. Never even played it, no. You've never played it? Never oh, you are missing oh, you, out. You. But I warn you, gotta, you gotta make sure you take everyone not seriously, because that game is incredibly oh, offensive <laughs> and racist. <laughs> if you play an official... Or if you play Cards Against Humanity online, only use the uh, official packs, though, because a lot of these fan ones are badly made and don't work right. Or are just really just beyond the realm of disturbing. How is that game? It is easily the most fun you can have with four or more people that isn't okay, Smash Brothers. Okay, next is I'm looking at Green Forest. Okay. Yeah. Lucas Spine says I saw a mod in Generations where the skateboard was replaced by <laughs> Sonic, and Sonic was replaced by Amy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would disturb me, but unfortunately, I've seen images like that. There is, if you do download the shadow one, it actually replaces the board for really? his motorcycle. <laughs> Ninja, well, that's, Leon that's says, cool. Ninja Games Leon says, if Sonic and Shadow are penises, are they technically cock well, cock racing, perhaps. <laughs> wait, what, what was, wait a minute, does that mean Silver was a small penis? I was disappointed that, <laughs> that no, so, so, oh, Silver. <laughs> you mean Hills? I was disappointed that no, so, Silver was just still Silver. No, Silver, he ha he has I, I would assume that Silver was like a flaccid penis, like he wanted to be hard, but he, well, he can use his mind no control use. powers to, to, to raise it up, though. I, I ha you know, you know what I hate about Green Forest? The same thing everybody hates about it. The way you, in the cutscene, you're in the middle of the goddamn stage and you start <laughs> yeah. at the very beginning. You know, I don't think I ever even noticed that. Yeah, everybody <laughs> hates that. 
If we raise $100 during Sonic Adventure 2, Josh will make a TGC about penis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pro Jared did that Ow. on April Fool's Day. <laughs> BM2 says of, uh, BM2 face says of Metal Harbor, or Metal Harbor, only a B-rank <laughs> Josh, step it up. Well, step it up! Uh, I... That kind of annoys me, actually. The way they got um, Jason Griffith to do original lines, but not Roger Craig Smith for yeah, Smash. Yeah. Well, it's style. Well, I mean, I, I can understand why, because they didn't have all the lines they needed for Smash yeah. before that. I think it has more to do with the fact that they were busy with Sonic Boom <laughs> at the time. Couldn't they have spent the extra money to get him to record a few lines? I mean, really. As far as Sonic voices go, I know, I know we had a pretty big discussion about this yesterday, but, like, I like Roger Craig Smith more than Jason Griffith, but for Smash Brothers, I like Jason Griffith a lot more. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more memorable because... He goes... He goes... Jason Griffith goes... Now I show you! <laughs> That's a perfect impression, jeez. Now I'll You're kill you. slow! Yeah. Are you actually Jason Griffith? I, I could not tell the difference there. <laughs> I do not it's, like it's, the it's four kids more cast. Memorable. I don't know. I just I, I do not like yes. the four kids cast. I mean we still I have Ryan Drummond Fox. and he's great. But everyone else I just well, Okay, here's the thing. Uh, I think as I think Jason especially Griffith, Tails. Griffith was the perfect person to play Sonic through that era because his voice is incredibly like trolly and obnoxious and kind of so, annoying. <laughs> and that's why he's good as written, yes. as written, yes. But that's why he's good for Smash yeah. Brothers too because part of part of what part of what you try to do with Sonic there is piss your opponent off so they so they get mad and start screwing up even more. So like like throwing them up in the air and going, "You're too <laughs> slow." <laughs> I, I have made so many people mad like that. Sonic players annoy me because they never learn. They always side B into up air and all you have to do is shield and they just try it over and over. Yeah, Josh. Mm. <laughs> really? I use his A attacks more than his B attacks yeah, when I play here. Sonic. I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a more balanced I'll, I'll admit my people. mains are all over By the way, what's the next stage? Smash. Pyramid Cave, alright. Pyramid Cave. Uh, yeah. My mains are all over the place for Smash. In Smash 4, my character I'm best with is Link. I'm trying to learn Rosalina right now, and I abs and Josh, screw you, I love Dark <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, my, my mains are open and boy. Of, uh, voice well, Robin's really good. As a voice director, I well, I'm not your voice director, mm -hmm. but but here's what I think. I think Jason Griffith was suffering from really bad voice direction because if you listen to his performance in Unleashed and especially Sonic in the Black Knight, he's it, he's really really good. Yeah. And I I think I think Tails, the voice actor for Tails, was the best voice they had ever gotten up to that point because. From in Adventure One, Two, and Heroes, they tried to get child actors, and that just did yeah. not work. They were terrible. And besides, I mean, child actors don't don't have the yeah. staying power. You know, yeah. yeah. Although I think if I'm, and you know what my favorite Tails really... voice was, the one from the Whoa. OVA. <laughs> so, I loved that Sonic. Tails voice. It just felt perfect for Tails. I'm character. sorry, Knuckles. I never thought. Okay, something really weird out. just happened. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. Um. <laughs> An internet connection is required. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that. I hit the A button the and now hell? I can play again, what? but now there's no sound anymore. <laughs> what the what hell? The hell? <laughs> I have never seen that before. No bad connection is going to stop me. <laughs> right there. No, no copyright the right on the universe is going to stop me. Stop. No, we need, we need why to is an internet, internet connection like required oh, anyway? God, I cannot... Are we going to get to Sonic Colors in this stream? Because that is easily my second favorite Sonic game, and it is my favorite yeah, the, the, written the Sonic game. The hope is that we can finish today, oh, yeah. Cool. Seriously, the writing in Colors is <laughs> so good. Uh, there, there was some disagreement on that when we talked about this yesterday. If I always said that if, if there were ever to be... Uh, a TV show or a proper cartoon based around Sonic, I would want it to yeah. be like There's the been like original five. team. What are you talking team about? Show. Well, what, I, what I'm talking about is if if I were to make a Sonic TV show, I would want it to be like the original yeah. Teen Titans. Ah, because that I, that would I be felt great. like that had the. Perfect I can't imagine mix Sonic working in that formula. Well, no. like, 
Because Teen Titans was a massive. Well, okay, what do, what do you mean in terms of, of having it work like Teen, Teen Titans? Titans? Well, because Teen Titans had like this perfect mix of comedy mm -hmm. and action, I feel like. Don't at least drama. in the first few seasons. Yeah, it had drama too, but I mean, I mean, I think that, you know, maybe for Sonic they could lessen some of that, maybe. But mm -hmm. I, I feel like if it had like more relation to the comics like the comics under ian flynn at least <laughs> here we go again they hang add, on we need to get shay on the call they oh, add have shay on stream yet they add drama in a way that actually fits the series and i think you know that's like proof right there that it can work in sonic even if people just don't want to see that right now next thing you know you're going to tell me you like <laughs> sonic chronicles I, I know people who did <laughs> it had a good story I loved the soundtrack to Sonic Chronicles. The soundtrack oh was good, huh, the sound despite just, using bad. The sound just came back mixes. when I beat the level. The soundtrack was good until they replaced it. <laughs> my, 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 my problem with my biggest it's problem with Chronicles is everyone feels like they're out of character. It just it just does not feel like it's written like a like Sonic you at all. Hang on, I need I to played, uh, turn the AC on. Played I'll Sonic Chronicles. Okay. Need some air. VK Mize says, people are talking about story in Sonic. Story? What? Doesn't even have a tale about, about ducks. About ducks. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> duck tales. Ooh, what are we going to do if there's ever a duck character duck. introduced into the Sonic series? There or has technically been the dynamite. I wouldn't call him a duck. What, <laughs> what would you call him? <laughs> I think he's a like dynamite. A woodpecker to me. Like, looks more like a duck thing. <laughs> no, seriously, compare him to Woody Woodpecker. They almost look the same. <coughs> I'll, I'm, all I need to do is the Sonic shot where, where he does that thing from him. Yes. From him yes that's what I was all right, guys, uh, what's the next level? <laughs> next level is... Crazy Gadget. Crazy Gadget. Yeah. Does anyone have any idea what Hylian of Time is uh, referencing? No. Uh, is that song, uh, lyrics or something? Out nope, I have no idea. <laughs> Can you stop? Kovar, is he well, standing okay. in the chat? Hi Hylian of Time. I'm yeah. going to give him a second. If people complain, like, 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 yeah, that's... Tell us what you're doing. Like, I mean, I, I don't mind it because, like, people were singing the DK rap yesterday. Yeah. Oh, oh Josh, <laughs> did you see that thing I posted in the Skype chat? I posted a, a direct link to a Sonic hack. I don't think you Oh, no, you before. did. Uh, was that uh, S1 Mush? Yeah, I have played Yeah, have you seen that? <laughs> No, I, I could tell oh, you were trying not to tell me what it was, in, in hopes that I'd never played it before, but yeah, I have. Because that one is just too good. You need like, yeah, reactions. Yeah, no, I, I keep one. up with stuff like that. I, um, although apparently I, I don't know Sonic Generations Omo Chow Edition. At least I don't think I do. Well, I can't wait for us to play that, because that's I going to be glorious. But I do keep up with like, uh, Mega G Wolf, the uh, Sonic Hack Showcase videos he does. Oh, I love G Wolf. Yes. Yeah, the stuff yes. he does is so good. I, I, I kind of miss being a more active member of his community when his forums are around. Actually, uh, I, I don't Ooh. think I'm like name dropping or like calling him out here or anything, but he he's actually the one who told me like I posted on Twitter. Some of you might have seen it a couple days ago. He's he's the one who told me keep doing what you love and it will pay off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but he's yeah. he's a really nice guy. I actually used to be a mod on his, on his Minecraft server. The <laughs> thing is, though, it, it was completely unintentional because he accidentally <laughs> left it running one night, and uh, just a bunch of people <laughs> flocked to it. Next thing you know, he had like a community of twenty people building on the remains of a destroyed Minecraft server. It's just such a weird feeling because I, I like I, I had that I had this a couple uh, like before I started this stream today. Like I had the chat still open, and I just saw that like there are people like in the chat waiting for me to come play video games. Well, that's such a bizarre feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of people waiting, uh, Alien Run 42 is here. He says, you guys started an hour no, early. No, we <laughs> well, we were originally going to start. We, uh, we actually started an hour late. Yeah, yeah. we were going to start anywhere yeah, between that's, one that's and four. So. It did. It started at about three. A little after three. <laughs> and now it's five. Uh, so has it already been two hours? That's crazy. Holding <laughs> crazy gadget. Oh! <laughs> Sonic, if you don't knock, do not come quickly. He will die. I don't. I don't. I don't think you get those voice clips in uh, trial mode though. Oh. 
But yeah, after Sonic and Victory is over, we'll uh, switch up the Skype attack quite a bit. We'll get Alien Run in here. We'll get Faye back if he wants to come on. And then we can talk about Sonic the Comic Con. You just mentioned that before he comes in. Oh, yet. You know, you know, I. Why is it? You know, I don't like, like Sonic so the Comic much. at all. I just don't see the appeal of it. I it, may, maybe if there was somebody in the Skype chat right now. I especially hate what they did with Super Sonic. <laughs> oh, I love what they did with Super Sonic in that. Like, <laughs> that is my biggest bugbear of the entirety of Wait the a Sonic minute. Comic. <laughs> I completely you forgot know, that I wasn't playing I like Sonic Adventure One. Done. By the way. <laughs> Uh, okay, Helium and Time, what okay, are you Helium doing? Okay, Helium and Time, explain yourself, or Kofar is gonna, like, I don't know what you can do as a mod on Twitch, but he's gonna do something. You better watch out. He, oh, he appears okay. to be quoting the lyrics of some kind of song. Alright. <laughs> and there they go. Fit. Timed out. Perfect. I accidentally timed out VKMS because I clicked the wrong thing because highly enough uh, time is spamming too much. That's, that's but okay. Is to, to ducks no, you can wow. never have too many ducks. What are you talking about? No, I unbanned him. That was an accident. You can never have too many ducks. <laughs> bonus ducks! But I get this freaking duck away from me! <laughs> Welcome to bonus ducks! Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to the fantasy Welcome zone. to Dr. Wiley. Get ready. Welcome, Welcome to die! To now we're spamming the Skype chat with lots of different references. Join me, Link, and I will make your face the greatest in Korokai, or else you will die. By the way, uh, right before I got on here... Okay, that's it. Go ahead. New stretch goal. New stretch goal <laughs> Sonic Schoolhouse. That's... Yes. That's yes. one of those Sonic games <laughs> yes. I've never actually played myself. <laughs> actually, you don't play that's Sonic. That's true, that's true. Nope. Oh, really? You play as creepy animals, like the monkey. <laughs> creepy animals like the monkey. <laughs> yes. Have you not seen the anima animation that the, that the monkey makes when you uh, get yeah, to yeah. the come? BK Myers is offended that we said there can be too many ducks. Uh, no, I, I, I disagree. There is no such thing as too many ducks. Sorry, BK Myers, you're not taking my spot. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm a, member, I'm a member of Geek Critique <laughs> Premium now. <laughs> well, I didn't know I had such a thing, but I can look at Premium. And I'm just a just this lonely passerby. He owns a Pegasus, and is a Pegasus knight. Even though in Fire Emblem, Pegasus knights are always female. Except hey, you're, you're here because you Sorry. asked really, really early. <laughs> you asked before everybody else yes. got here. <laughs> I don't know if I remember how to do this puzzle exactly, but I'll figure it out. Do you know this how guys, to glitch into the uh, test guys level? Guys in the chat, uh, you this can is one of the to worst ask questions. Of this game. Do you know how to glitch into the test level for uh, no, I don't know no question? I believe it involves collecting the Chow key and getting the goal ring at almost exactly the same time. No, 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 yeah. you, you have to have the Chow key and then die and hit the goal ring at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to do. BKMI says, I wouldn't want to be any part of any elite group if there was anti DuckTales <laughs> bigots there. What? Fuck you too. Okay, are you supposed to- Where are you going, Josh? He's getting <laughs> lost. This is not happy with. I'll be I'll be honest with you, Game Eyes. I'm I actually love DuckTales. I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> just to be a contrarian, just to see me Game Eyes freak out about it. How did you survive that? That is totally <laughs> the wrong way to do this. I was creative. I channeled a little bit of Kalen and and I decided to play the game my way. <laughs> I I I heard I almost heard you say I channeled the power of chaos. Uh, no, no, I channeled the power of something even more full of hatred. <laughs> but yeah, the reason the reason I don't like this puzzle, it's not a bad puzzle, but there shouldn't really be puzzles yeah, in like Sonic level design at all. Yeah. And it kind of bad. feels like a predecessor to one of the worst problems with Sonic Heroes, which was the constant switch puzzles everywhere. If you search everywhere. on Google Groups, you can find a post I made in, in 2001. Uh, on old fan Sonic Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Ask it, asking for Why help. Why would you even? <laughs> with this puzzle. Okay, so Crayon the Gamer says, uh, What is your opinion on Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice? <laughs> no. That's my opinion. No! Thing. <laughs> it looks like the best Sonic yes. Boom game. That's I can what definitely I'll say. agree yeah. with that. It looks interesting. 
Okay, I think a little nothing. bit like. Uh, of course, we heard about we heard about fire and. I still. It looks we like heard, we heard about movie. fire and ice first, but it's sort of a uh, kind of a similar situation to uh, Metroid Federation Force, in that I don't think people would have minded it as much if we were if like they were like and we're getting like a new real Sonic game. You know what I mean? But a... yeah, <laughs> eat rank, Josh. I'm convinced the only reason it's about fire and ice is so they could have orange and blue contrast on important. the box art. <laughs> or, so they can, or, the, or so they can market it with condoms so people will buy it. Uh, Alien Run, yes. <laughs> yes, you do have to wait hey, until Adventure I mean... 2 is over to join. But Adventure 2 is almost over. That's not a long wait, we're near the end. Oh yeah, that's the last level. Adventure 2 doesn't last that long. You could have done some of the bosses. Alien Run, you can still make fun of VK Mize, even if he is here. Yeah, I guess yeah. I could do some of the bosses. Although there's no way to play as only Sonic's bosses. Or there's no way to play against only Sonic's bosses. Ha, <laughs> whoops. That's kind of the problem with no, it. You can only, oh, can I survive? You can, only, you can only play as the heroes, the villains, are, are all together. Well, I know you can play the Sonic Adventure 1 yeah. bosses with this Sonic. Stretch goal. Heart <laughs> racing minigame. <laughs> Whoop. There uh, he goes. Oh, wait. So it's, you know, as it's, will he be able to potentially join in later today? Um, yeah, it's potentially, you know. sure. <laughs> yeah. Josh, that's why I love this level, so you can do things like that. Yeah. And Sonic might do ask. Uh, yeah, Green Hill. Hill will also be played. Ooh, yeah, Green Hill. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, Green. forgot about that. Green Hill. The technical last level of the game. Yeah. Oh, we never sang City. Yeah, we said we were going to do that, too. We'll do that in Generations. Well, you can well, me, what was the result of the straw poll on that? <laughs> Just me. Uh, the uh, straw poll. Check. Eight votes for DuckTales, six votes for that. That's a yes in my book. No. <laughs> well, um, DuckTales wins. I mean, <laughs> Duck I mean, you can't really argue with that. DuckTales wins. I remember the summer I sat down. I, I devoted like almost an entire month to just beating this game 100%. And it, I think what took me the longest was actually the Chow parts. Oh yeah, you have to do that for the emblems. I remember yeah. that. Zorkus Pine. Yeah. That... Zorkus Pine asks, wait, did you get all 180 emblems? Not in this. Legit? Not in this yeah, version, I but I have... did. I did on the Dreamcast. I think that was the only time I ever did it legit, though. I so still have my game. Safe. I still have my GameCube version file with all 180 yeah. emblems on it. Over 100 or over a 400 hours clocked in on that thing. I never bothered. The, re the, like, requir the requirements for getting a rank in this it game is pretty is hard. Ridiculous. I cheated like, a little bit. I have a Game Boy Advance code breaker, and I use that to transfer rings over to make it so that I could just that's buy. That's not that big a deal. I've, I've, I've got about, I've got half the emblems on my Adventure 2 battle play, um, file and... I also finished Second like Adventure 1 on GameCube 100% too. Go ahead. Stretch goal. There's a new straw poll. Uh, stretch goal for Sonic Shuffle. Options are $0, $5, $10, $20, and infinite dollars. <laughs> I'm voting for infinite dollars so it never happens. Zero dollars. <laughs> You have to you have to give us your bank account information for us to play. No, Sonic here's Shuffle. the thing. You have if you want me to play Sonic Shuffle, you have to back me on Patreon to the point that I get up to my fifteen hundred dollar making a living at doing this milestone, and then and then I'll do Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> when I achieve my dream of making a living doing this. So. What else? Do you uh, do I do a couple other things to make ends meet. Mostly eBay sales. Uh, I run like. Perk TV. Like, if you go on reddit.com slash beer money, there's little stuff you can do to, like, watch ads and get, like, like little like, little piddly amounts for every for every ad you watch. Yeah. But, but it, when you have, like, five smartphones, then it, 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 it adds up over, the, <laughs> over time. Wait, why do you have that Kroger, Kro I don't know if you know, Kroger's like a grocery store chain around here. I think it's called something else on the West Coast, though. But they... Yeah, but oh, yeah, they had a special, a like, back in December. They were selling a pretty crappy Android smartphone for $10. <laughs> so that, that's when I got into that. Got into the beer money stuff. Yes! Mm. Most, I've made most of my actual income from da, 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 going to college da, 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 and just made it. taking in most of the uh, extra financial aid <laughs> going stuff Going to college you. pays well until you're not in college anymore. <laughs> it does. Yeah. If you can call that pays, yeah. student loans are... Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I didn't take out student loans. I got financial aid. Yeah, I got me too. some financial aid, but I yeah, wasn't able here. to get a full ride on it. No, I'd be afraid to take out student loans because the debt oh. you can incur is just staggering. Okay, here well, we go. I never graduated, so I only have one semester well, of that crap to deal with. I, I still have... Uh, tomorrow I start my final semester, actually. Okay, um, BM Two Face put up another straw poll. Stretch goal for Ducktales: two dollars, two hundred dollars, over nine thousand, and Ducktales. <laughs> View results only. Ducktales: six I'll votes, two dollars, two here. votes, and over nine thousand for one vote. <laughs> oh, uh, yay! Um, oh, can you guys still hear me? Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the live stream still you. on. We're good. The stream, um, is, the stream still is still live. Yeah, no, the stream is frozen. Is the stream frozen? It, it's not just the game. The, oh. Yeah, the stream itself is frozen. The uh, okay, the game is it, frozen. It, it, it's running for me again now, but I might want to restart mm -hmm. the stream. Okay, then the stream is frozen. It's not just yeah. the game is frozen. The uh, okay. scrolling text is yeah, also that makes frozen. Sense. It looks like XSplit also. Oh crashed. yeah. But oh, the audience can hear us. See they anything? just can't. Uh, See the okay, hang, hang on a minute, so everybody. Like, we're gonna have to restart the stream. I was frozen I'm today. Today. So I'm gonna have to restart X, but it looks like. So give me a minute to do that. Damn it. 